All right, welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Persona 5 Strikers. This is gonna be the third part. I am ready to jump into this. We have been actually playing for three, almost three and a half hours. Actually, technically, it's about two and some change, simply because uh, I re remember that one time where uh, I actually, hold on, I just realized. Okay, that's right, because I have two different <laughs> saves just to check the timing on it. Um, but yeah, the very first, my very first part, I accidentally uh, left the game on and it just continued to rack up some points. So technically, we only about about two hours and forty something minutes, something around that. Uh, but I've been enjoying this game a lot, and I'm ready to jump back into the next episode. So guys, without further ado, let's jump back in to the third part of Persona 5 Strikers. Let's load up the data. All right, so I forgot. I kind of forgot where we left off. I think we're about to infiltrate the jail or finish up a couple, getting some more information. Yeah. Okay. So we're heading over to Takemi. We're gonna go be seeing the rest of them, uh, and seeing back. Uh, seeing it's gonna be good seeing T Takemi again. I wonder if they're going. I wonder which voice they're gonna use. I'm assuming they're gonna be using the one from Royal. I think they actually changed the voice actresses. Uh, because they couldn't reach the original. I don't remember the actual name for this, but if it's a higher, more of a higher pitch voice, then um, we'll know who it is. I see An and uh, Ryuji are actually right over there, just chilling out. Let them, let them hang out. Is it closed? Hmm? Is this the internal clinic you were talking about? Yeah, but the notice here. Notice close for the summer. No, I can't see high t high heeled waifu. <sighs> I'll be attending an academic conference and will be out for the summer. Signed, physician Tai Takemi. <sighs> Damn. Oh man, talk about bad timing, right? I would have loved to see her in her high heels. At least we can still get some weapons at Wise. No, no, he was out too. Is that the shop in Central Street in Shibuya? I saw it while we were gathering information on Alice. Yeah, and it was closed. I mean, I'm assuming it's still closed, right? Yeah, that's it, all right. Either way, let's head to Shibuya first, Akira. Open the map with M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick there. Okay, okay. Let's go to Central Street. Why? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I guess we're not allowed to uh, fast travel. I guess we gotta... We gotta do it this way. I must say, the soundtrack for this game... For the brand new... Uh, the set tracks, I mean. <laughs> is fantastic. With all the battle themes. Oh, let's, let's say hi to uh, uh, Matthew Mercer. That jail. It was eerie, just how similar to the palaces it was. If it was similarly created by human hearts, I can't help but shiver at the thought of, that, of how that person sees the world. Did it upset you? We had to fix this. I'm excited to go back. Did it upset you? Not quite. Actually, it's rather the opposite. To actually bear witness to such a war to mine is very stimulating. You sure do march to the beat of your own drum, Yusuke. I'm relieved to see your personal troubles are well behind you. No. I'm still rather plagued with problems. The suffocating heat refuses to cede my attention and allow me to focus on my art. Even stripping bare naked doesn't abate my <laughs> intensity. <laughs> Please don't strip again. Despite my concerns of heat stroke, I cannot afford air conditioning. <laughs> my soul saviors are tap water and the salt stockpile I've been <laughs> Jesus, Yusuke, no. <laughs> oh my god, Yusuke. But I shan't let someone defeat me. My frugality cannot be stopped. Please don't die. <laughs> Yusuke. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. I now recall your attic room also lacks air conditioning, Akira. Here, this could benefit you at some point. No need to be modest. Rock salt! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So if I talked... Damn it. Probably shouldn't have passed by you uh, on Ryuji. Oh well. I'm not gonna go back. Let's just continue on. Let's go into Central Street. Alright, and so... Oh, hey! Okay, the Velvet Room is still there. It's just in a little bit different position, because normally it's right uh, in this area, right here. Yeah. I may need her assistance skin. I should probably go talk to her. Mm. Yeah, let's go talk to her. 
let's go talk to Lavenza. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hello, Lavenza. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to tap out just to fix a little bit of the sound issues, make it a little bit lo louder for the game. While right. your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead and watch over you through your journey. So we're not going to see I, I, Igor. Igor. I'll be counting on Let's get to business. I'll be counting on you. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. Yes. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. I mean, as long as they, they don't tell me to fuse our sin. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Your chainsaw, right? Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. Okay, so if you sacrifice or fuse a persona, you can't get them back, the original counterparts. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. Meetings? <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Ah uh, yes, it's not like it's not like the Velvet Room. It's nothing like the Velvet Room attendants or attendees, assistants. You know what I mean. To uh, be very vague and very yeah, vague. I guess is the right word uh, with their explanations. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you, and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. So instead of actually really changing the person, what we're doing is actually changing their, uh, taking their hearts to bring them back to what they were, so to speak. At least, at least for the very for for this exact um, jail in this case, in this sense. Instead of like taking away their distorted desires, you're basically bringing back what made them them, I guess, in a way. <laughs> leave it to me. I don't have a choice, do I? Nah, leave it to me. Be nice to Lavenza. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Okay, please don't tell me I had to sacrifice our sin. I like our sin. I don't want to use. I don't want to lose our sin. In the Velvet Room, you can fuse or strengthen your personas. Visit here and continue to create more powerful personas. Use two personas to gain please, a new one. Please, please no. I don't want to do it. God damn it! I think they're gonna make me do it. Fuse a number of the personas you currently have to create a new persona. The personas used in the fusion will be lost. In order to fuse a given persona, Joker's level must be greater than or equal to the new persona's starting level. For tips for fusing strong personas, please check fusion tips in the tutorial please submenu. Please select the persona to acquire. Okay, thank God. I, I okay, I did have a jack o' lantern. I knew I had a pixie. I just thought I had a pixie in our sand. That was it. It seems that it can gain new power. All right, so I'll be able to get rampage. Okay. Uh, confirm. Choose which skill to inherit. Okay, so yeah, same, same, same thing with what we knew of from the original base game in Royal. Uh, ooh, I have a feeling Morgana is kind of gonna be good for now. I think Rukunda, Rukun, Raku, you know what I mean. Rukunda will be actually be the best to help against boss fights or anyone that's like really tanky. Is this so let's the go with that. You'd like? Yes. Be born anew. All right, you're gonna use a chainsaw. Oh no 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 no! They're using um Iron Maidens. Avengers just happens to carry those around.
<laughs> That's actually pretty dope. I thought it was going to be her uh, chainsaw. I am Bicorn. Impure motives are what grant me strength. Here, take care of this mess for me. It's probably not, a, not even close to what it actually sounds like, but eh. And it has now gotten strength. Nice. I already have it, so let's go back. You can strengthen the personas you have already acquired as well. The power of the mass you have obtained will be vital to the strengthening process. Let's try it now. Uh, persona enhancement. To strengthen it. By spending persona points, you can level up your persona. Be aware that personas can only be leveled up as far as Joker's current level through this method. Okay. As you progress through the story, you'll be able to strengthen your personas in ways other than leveling them up. Persona points are obtained through either picking up the mask of a persona you, already, you are already carrying, or the fusing or releasing personas. Okay. And we got 10,000 from the DLC, I guess you can say. Uh, let's level up Arsene. Yeah. Uh, level How up. How much power will you add? Three. This is what you've chosen. I am sure. There, your persona has grown. This process can be repeated to draw further powers. One way to consider a persona is that it is the, the other self. Their growth is your own growth as well. Please make wise use of this strength and you don't have to okay. henceforth. You learned a new skill? I'm... Don't know what it is. Ah, Turanda and Dream Needle. Dream Needle's gonna be fun to use. Cool. And back. All personas you have previously registered can be some. Okay, so you can bring that back. Okay, uh, for some reason I thought for you wouldn't be able to. Uh, that that's just how they were um, progressing. Glad to know I was wrong. Yeah, I know. I know about the registration, but we're good. Return already? Yeah. Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I will uh. always be by your side. Until next time. It's so refresh. It's so refreshing seeing this side compared to the original twins who just like an hey, inmate, slapping bars with their batons. I mean, that was more Caroline. But yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, you were out of it for a second there. Are you holding up okay? Hope you're not overheated or anything. Your wide shop is just ahead. Let's get you inside. Pronto. <laughs> did I did you hear that? I don't know if you heard that in the background. She was like, she's a babe. They're all talking about Alice. I, I'm not gonna lie. Eh, it, it's still gone. Yep. Really? Hold on. Why should be here? But it looks like they're closed. Looks like that temporary close sign's been up for a while, too. What should we do? Not getting medicine is bad enough, but if Y is not here, we can't get any Let's weapons either. We'll, we'll have to figure out something else. Let's gather the others and brainstorm LeBlanc. LeBlanc. You know, I'm just gonna call it LeBlanc. Ooh, but Futaba and Makoto are here, so let's talk to them. Hey. I still can't get over how useful Emma is. Just now for me, it put together an entire meal, gave me its nutritional breakdown, and even showed me the closest place with ingredients. All I have to do is ask what I, I should do about dinner. Pretty easy to see why people are such fans. But then I remember that this app is what lets us get into the miniverse and I got creeped out all over again. Yeah, there's something more. There's something more. No! What's the haps chips picking up supplies? <laughs> oh. God, I love Futaba. I'm working on my crowd mode right now. All those shadows in the jail were really starting to get to me. I figure I'll be more used to them if I observe their real-world conversions more, maybe? Eh, it's worth a shot. Yeah, you do you, Futaba. Alice, make me your slave. Could this be a woman? Could this be a person of my- Could this person be one of my people? I thought I was already concerned about how things were going in the city, but now that I know that this is all part of some jail? Mm. And I don't even want to consider it wh how all the all these people are shadows in that jail. Sorry, words are hard, guys. All right, so let's go back and f let's figure this out. Oop. All right, so going down. 
to Yongan Jaya. Dun, dun, dun. Man, the curry. Oh, talking about Le um, talking about the blank. Let's go to the blank. All right, cutscene? No, not a cutscene. Scripted event? I think we're gonna get a scripted event. The airsoft shops closed. Takemi clinics shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. <laughs> right. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah, check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know Agreed. if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting a Is she gonna find a way to get it almost long. instantly? Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. Yeah, that's true. We no got problem. the special stuff. The has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? Oh, girlfriend. W what do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. Oh, oh God! No! 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 You're gonna start tapping You're into something. Ridiculous. Ah, come on! It was just a joke. Nothing else. You're gonna start energy. connecting to the dark web. Okay, I've got it. Please wait. No! Mm -hmm. Got what? <laughs> Hello? <I> got <laughs> wait! What? Did you really? Oh my God! Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, Hold on. Hey yo, um, hey yo, Sophia. I ain't got that much uh, persona points, so uh, I, I don't know how I'm gonna pay for this. I have not been grinding, so I don't have any yen. Whoa. Okay, please tell me it's not gonna be an actual gold bar. Someone should open it. it. Okay, if it's an actual gold bar, let's give it to Yusuke. He needs the money. Ryuji, this is your doing. Open it. Ryuji's got a uh, Morgana's got a point. What me? Is this even legal? <laughs> yes, this is even legal. Well, of course. <laughs> Wait, it is right. I don't know. Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or <laughs> some toy. Oh, never mind. It's a real gold bar. By the way, I have held a real gold bar once, a long time ago. They are very quite heavy. They are quite heavy. Is that real? Holy shit! What am I? Holy shit! What am I? Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! What have I done? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's so good. I, I want I want that clipped. I want that exact voice clipped without the music. Oh. Give it to Yusuke. Yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way! No way is that real! Wow! Now I can open my cafe early! <laughs> it's like a dream! <laughs> Th that needs to go to the police! Right away! Oh, wait! They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? So, uh, Makoto, um, uh, it looks like you're part of our, uh, our grand heist. <laughs> They're all freaking out. Use gets alone. Yeah, that's real gold. All right. Did that solve your problem? No, it, it has in fact created more problems. Thank you, though. How did? Yes. How did you do that? I found an online vendor with expedited 
expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. There's a difference between expedited delivery and instantaneous delivery. Big difference. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? I, I, I'm call I called it. Correct, Futaba. I knew it! It's fine. I broke no laws. Whose money did you use? That's the biggest question. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. Okay, did we just pay with Bitcoin? We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. Send it back. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is this is peak writing guys. This is peak writing. Hello! Expedited pickup! Thank you for choosing our services! Oh that voice sounds familiar. I'm relieved they took it back, but Oh, that was so funny. <sighs> that definitely gave us some gray hairs. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't have thought she would have immediately ordered it, but at the same time, I should have expected that, just knowing her how she is. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I'm, at, I'm in Ryuji's corner in this one. I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Oh, yeah! Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. I mean, gold is useful. Shall I do that? Yes. Well, it, it is a damn shame that we're not going to be able to see UI or Takemi, but... Eh, I guess this works too. Okay, I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. In Sophia's online shop, you can buy and sell weapons, protectors, accessories, and items. I mean, thankfully, remember, you were all the guns were all the guns and weapons we're buying is, you know, fake. So, the shop's inventory increase increases via story story progression, and after certain events, and after certain events, sorry, make sure you're well stocked before entering jail. There are also shops that sell goods that aren't found online. Keep an eye out for good deals as you explore the city. Nice. Score better deals at Sophia's well, shop. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. At the hideout, you can infiltrate the jail, use Sophia's online shop, and access the Velvet Room. Other features will become available for the rest of the story. Alright, so at first, let's go use the shop. I'm actually... yeah. Oh! Hold on. I've never heard this. I do I passed this one. I usually just listen to into the battle themes, but Oh, this is good. Alright, so we didn't get any of the of the weapons. I do like I do like that. That's so cool. Alright, so let's get the cookery. Uh, curved Nepalese knife, also used as a tool. Okay. You want this one? Alright, how oh, I don't have that much money. Do you want to that? Put it to good use, okay? I love this user interface. This user interface is so damn good. Um, dope, heavy grip. Also, we're trying grip blades. Hmm. 
Alright, so I'm definitely going to have to have um, Morgana on the team, so I'm going to go give him a um, real Zampuku sword. Paku. Yes. You want this one? Do you want to accept that? Put it to good use, okay? Who is it for? Uh, let's see. Who Buy accessories. Which one? Arm ring. I'm just curious what these are. Alright, so it just reduces damage, basically, for the most part. Oh, that was so cool. And just the finger and the swipe. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's discuss really quick. I just want to see. Aw, oh, man, this rules. When was the last time we had a briefing in a hideout like this? Uh, for you guys, it was uh, right before we fought Yaldabaoth. <laughs> oh, settle down. Although, I admit, it does have a nostalgic feeling to it. Just to be clear, our objective is changing Alice, her, Alice Hiragi's heart, correct? Right, right. And here's Yusuke, eating his freaking stick things. You nailed it, and if we can figure out what... <laughs> sorry, sorry. You nailed it, and if we can figure out what this jail thing is while we're at it, that's even better. You need to return the desires Alice took from those people so they can go back to normal. Right, at this rate, everyone in the world will be get turned into Alice's slaves if we don't act soon. Leave it to me. I'll help however I can. So the keyword to end the jail is Wonderland. Before we use that, though, make sure we have everything we need will need for the infiltration. Got it? All right, let's dive in the moment we're ready. Let us know when it's time, leader. All right, so let's go in. We have good um, equipment enough. I think we're gonna be fine. We have a good equipment. We don't have the weapons really. I mean, I'm gonna be sticking with. Uh, our main pro tag for the most part. I, I mean, I will swap out two different people to just try them out, but for the most part, yeah, I'm definitely going to be just uh, using uh, Joker. So, yeah, let's explore the jail. Okay, let's go. Loading screen. All right, let's begin the operation. I don't remember this song either. Oh, dude, Persona's music is always on point. Our first goal would be the treasure room, yes? I'm sensing something treasure like over there. That way. Toward 705. That's where you were taken when they captured you, right? Yeah. Just thinking about it pisses me off. Piece of shit, so full of herself. So Alice is there now, huh? You know, it does sort of look like a castle. It does. A castle ruled by a mama. I admit it's rather fit. So, we're heading to the castle? Yeah, that sounds good. This jail is crawling with shadows now. Watch your backs out. Okay, I'll watch your backs out there. <laughs> don't actually watch Simply our back is backs. Heist is a phantom thief. This'll be great. We don't know the opposition will face. Be sure to switch out team members when necessary. In change party, you can manage who will join Joker in the jail. Select up to three teammates who will be who will best fit your party's needs. You can change your party by opening the command menu and selecting stats. This can be done at any time as long as you are outside of combat. Good point. We're at your beck and call, Joker. All right, so let's change party. Um, actually, I kind of like this. I might change Ryuji out for probably a more real word verse like Makoto. Lokoto actually has good stats, too. Highest SP count, too. Highest SP count, um, and then second high, or uh, third highest uh, health. So, ooh. I mean, Ryuji is, no, Ryuji is more of a tank, so... Hmm. I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna keep it just like this for now. Uh, that's oh, alright, let's right, explore. Superior landing. Not really. Be careful. They've got serious numbers. I only see one. Don't you remember what to do at times like this? 
Watch for an opening, then jump it from behind. Be careful not to get spotted. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing they're gonna be single ones, and then when you actually in go into combat, that's when they spread out and have multiples. Really quickly though, before we jump in. Oh, okay. Approach an enemy from behind without being detected and then press H to perform an ambush. Performing an ambush will give you a preemptive strike from the enemy, giving you an advantage at the start of the level. So I'm probably it's like mostly like probably chunking out their health a good amount. Oh and really quickly. Oh, I can't really Okay. Show me your true self. Perform a baton pass with the directional buttons. Passing the baton temporarily boosts the rate that the showtime gauge increases. Charge up and let up have it. After school's F attacks, oh, okay, so my basic attacks. Special attacks can be charged by holding H. Att uh, attack power and range increases as you charge. Okay. Become harder to flinch. Oh, okay. That ambush was a real success. Restore HP to all primary. Ooh, that's cool. After a successful ambush. My body is still ready for more. They'll go a lot smoother whenever we ambush them like that too. The other end. We're spotted. They'll get the upper hand against us. Keep sharp out there. Performing an ambush will trigger a preemptive strike, giving you advantage. Okay, yeah. However, if you are spotted by an enemy, you will be ambushed instead, putting you at a disadvantage at the start of the battle. Okay. Hold the tab for third eye, yep, to use third eye, which enables you to see things you don't, wouldn't normally be able to see. Third eye can be used to determine enemy strength. Strong numbers have a red ore and weak enemies have a blue ore. Use that information to choose which battle to fight. <laughs> Alright, so really quickly, unlocking bond skills. Bond is now accessible from the command menu. Spend bond points bond, to obtain bond skills to enhance the abilities of the fan of the use. Certain skills are locked by a level cap. The conditions for unlocking these level caps will be revealed as you progress through the story. Cool. Um, let's go to equip really quickly. Alright, so... I already have my stuff, right? Okay. So, I don't have any accessories. Uh, so, Morgana. Let's have him on his Breeze Scarf. Accessory. Breath Sash. Yeah, just to keep him alive a little bit longer. Um, Sophia. Silicon armor, robust apron. Knee high boots, fanny pack. Why does she have two of these? Okay. Wait, is it. Is, I was just wondering if there was an agile thing. Um, Futaba can't really add anything, right? Hacker gear mark one. Oh! Okay, I'm assuming. You can actually use something. Yeah, it's not you can use. She can even use a weapon. All right, so let's go to Haru and give her a robust apron too. You know, you, oh, you know, I can actually just press that. I, I should have done that then, instead of having to go back and forth. Alright, so Yusuke has that. Give um, on the robust apron. Ryuji, get the survival vest. And I think we're all equipped on the same thing now. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to Bond really quickly. Let's I want to see what this is. Increase the match HP of all mem party members. That's actually pretty good. SP increases strength for all party members. It affects physical attack damage. Okay. Magic, endurance, agility, and luck. Okay. Let's see, after performing the bond, the showtime gauge will fill faster. Increase the chance to trigger Harrison recovery. Um, okay, so that's locked. Increase the chance for a mass manifest. Uh, resource all HP members. That one is going to be the best. Actually, I think that one's probably going to be the most um, worth. Alright, so same thing. Score better deals with Sophia's shop. Increase the effect of healing items. Bond level will increase more quickly. I feel like that's actually going to be better. It's just going to help in the long run. So let's do that, actually. I just pressed the wrong button. Oops. 
All right. Well, I'm gonna go end. <laughs> I'm gonna end it here because uh, I just totally messed up. Uh, I will see you guys soon. <laughs> see you in the next video.